Hey everyone, in this short video we're going to talk about orders of operations. So we start by learning this stuff when it's just numbers, but the same applies once we bring variables into the equation later on in later grades. So how do we know what operation to do first when we have a bunch of numbers in a particular formula or a bunch of numbers in a particular equation like we have here. Well, we follow the rule bed mass that I've written vertically here and basically we just want to go in order of all these things. So brackets is what the B stands for which means you're going to solve everything inside a bracket first. Some people call it ped mass and the P will be parentheses. Um, e stands for exponents so you'll apply exponents next wherever you see that. Division and multiplication are next these two kind of go together um, so those go next and then the last thing that you handle is addition and subtraction so if you go in that order then you can't go wrong what I've listed here are four examples and we're gonna look at you can see that the numbers are all the same it's 2 plus 1 times 3 minus 8 all I've done is move some brackets around um, to take away the brackets add new brackets and we'll see how that changes our answer we're gonna get a different answer for all of these so if we look at a we have 2 plus 1 times 3 minus 8 well I'm not just going to do uh, well, in this case, we will basically be going left to right. I always want to look for brackets first. So I can see I have a bracket around 2 plus 1, so I'm going to solve that piece first. So this becomes 3 times 3 minus 8. Uh, no more brackets to deal with. Like, I have the bracket, but everything inside of it is solved. So then I move down. There's no exponents, so don't have to worry about that. Division and multiplication. Well, I can see there's multiplication here, so I'm going to complete that. 3 times 3 is 9. I still have the minus 8. I haven't done anything with that. There's no more division or multiplication. Move on to addition and subtraction. 9 minus 8 equals 1. So the answer to this first one is 1. And I'll keep all the answers here to see how it changes. Again, if you follow bed mass, you can't go wrong. Let's look at the second one. I've put 2 plus 1 times 3 minus 8. No brackets here at all, so we don't have to worry about uh, brackets. No exponents, don't have to worry about that. Division and multiplication. I can see there's one piece here of multiplication, so I'm going to keep everything else the same. My 2 stays and my negative 8 stays. 1 times 3 is 3. Great, now it's just addition and subtraction together. This is a grade 2 question. 2 plus 3 minus 8 is negative 3. So you can see just by dropping those brackets, it's changed the answer. Let's look at part C. 2 plus 1 times 3 minus 8 in brackets. So again, we've got multiplication, but first we're always going to focus on the brackets. So 2 plus 1 times, that's all going to stay the same, and our bracket we're going to solve is negative 5. Now there's no more um, nothing else to solve within the brackets, so I'll move to multiplication, which is right here. The 2 stays, there's nothing to do there. 1 times negative 5 is negative 5. Now we're just left with addition and subtraction. 2 plus negative 5 is negative 3, so we get the same answer there. But you can see how it actually changed slightly because there was a negative, inf negative 5 involved. And lastly, part D, two brackets. So we have a bracket times another bracket, but before we do the times, we have to solve what's inside each of those brackets. 2 plus 1 is 3, times 3 minus 8 is negative 5. Brackets are solved, now we can do the multiplication. 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. Follow bed mass, and we can't go wrong, but don't follow it and you can see how different answers can be. We, get, we kept all the numbers the same, just move brackets around and answers range from negative 3 to 15. Hope this was helpful. You can always email us info at arnoldtutoring with uh, info at arnoldtutoring.com with more questions.